hello hello guys welcome today is Sunday on Sundays I usually do live on Instagram with my co-host Vivian Williams she's a Nollywood actress Nigerian act actress she live we live here in Toronto so on Sundays we have segments of love marriage and relationship we decided to be doing that on Instagram since uh, YouTube has to block some of the words and some of the things that we do talk about on marriage and relationships so we took it over to Instagram so every Sunday 2 p.m. we are live on Instagram talking about some delicate matters issues that concerns women marriage relationship is very sizzling today the topic is very like neutral so I decided to share this on YouTube usually like we go really deep to call things out to say things the way it is but today I think because the topic is neutral so I decided to share this on uh, YouTube with you guys so if you're not already following me on Instagram please endeavor to follow me you're not going to miss this we do this topic every Sunday by 2 p.m. feel free to send in or to request something about your marriage and relationship or issues that you might be going through so this is where we tackle women issues every Sunday on Instagram so I'm going to leave you guys here to enjoy the rest of this video thank you subscribe and follow along I will see you guys in my next video bye hi everybody hello hi finally you found me I know <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can clearly okay. hear you. Beautiful. Hi. Hi, everybody. I can see we have a few people already here. Beautiful. My sister, Cass Boutique, she's here. If you need beautiful gowns, you want to do your eyelashes, you want to do your eye, um, anything to do with uh, face, your hair, your clothes as a woman, Call the uh, Cass Boutique. She's there. She's online now. Get hold of her. She can fix you up in a minute. She's so good. Hi, so man. Like, yeah. Thanks for joining. Well, today we have a very juicy topic. Very juicy and kind of a little bit. Um, uh, the topic today we have is concerning women. Women and men. So that men, women are, <laughs> but, but mostly affecting women on this topic. But we men must give their consent when it comes down to it. Should a woman establish a career before marriage or marriage a priority before a career? What do you guys think? With, we, Katya brought up this topic today because <laughs> it's really affecting marriages, relationship. Mm -hmm. There's um, coming from uh, where we are coming from, Nigeria, Africa, even here in Canada. We brought this culture down here, uh, trying to make sure that marriage is a priority, which I'm not against. I'm married for 27 years. I mean, Katia is married for about 30 years now. So we are women that enjoyed our marriage we established. But over the years, We've seen things in our lives. We've seen things in other women's lives. We've seen things in relationship. We've seen women. There are some women that are just naturally un unhappy. Nothing you can do, they are not happy. There is a reason. The marriage is not working. They are not happy. They are not fulfilled in life. So, Katya, what's your, your take on this? Career, all, marriage, or marriage before career? First of all, welcome, everyone. You guys, if you follow me on, on my social medias, I'm bubbling and buzzing. Okay, so it's my 30 years of being with my husband. Congratulations! And, and 27 years of marriage. We did it for three years and then we got married. Beautiful. So, Congratulations. you guys will be seeing. I am yet to buzz you guys and bother you guys with lots of pictures and videos. So, guys, 
welcome is Sunday. If you're just coming here for the first time, endeavor to share. There is a place, an arrow that goes on your right hand side. Please send it to all your friends and followers so that they can join us. So today, like Vivian said, the pressure of African women being married. That's what we're talking about today. So like Vivian said, is it career first or is it marriage first? I am just going to talk based on experience and you guys, men and women can chip in and see whatever they think. Being African people, Africans, so this is inevitable. Even though that we are we live in this part of the world and we want to say, okay, we don't want to, we don't want to pressure the kids to get married. This thing is in our blood. Like once mm -hmm. a, a daughter, a niece, a cousin gets to a certain age, we keep asking. So where 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 is the right bubble? When are you going to bring it, bring the person over? So I think everybody has different perceptions of when they want to get married. For me, there is no perfect time for being married. It's all about who and when you meet the person. I married him, I married in my early 20s. So maybe when you ask me, I will say I want to have my master's. I want to establish business first before getting married. But sometime or somehow down the line, you might be putting career first and you meet the right person. You will not even remember the career anymore. So family first or career first, every individual is different. Depends on where you are in life and what you want to achieve at a certain time. And however, there are people who might not want to get married first. They want to do career first. But things happen, entanglement happens down the road and they end up getting married. So everything is based on individual, but cultural, cultural, we are African. They will say, okay, bring me the person and then later you can finish school. <laughs> bring me the person. I want to hold my grandchild and then later you guys can continue with school. So what do you think? Did I answer it? Um, your, I mean, everybody has their own opinion. And um, you, you did very well with it. I mean, I like what you said. <laughs> <laughs> but did you know this is kind of um, a topic that is also affecting me as a mother? So today I'm going to speak from my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and your daughter will uh, my you. daughter is obsessed listening. She will kill you. <laughs> Okay, this is my take on it. After my experience in life, I think career should come first most of the time. Because, you see, if you want to become a doctor as a woman, a lawyer, an actress, at the age of 10, I knew I was going to be an actress, but I never pursued it. When I got married, I never told my husband my interest in acting. By the time I, I called him and I said, I want to be an actress, he said, he said it's not going to happen. You should have told me this when I asked you to marry me. I don't want to marry any actress. I did not propose to any actress. He basically told me, this is something I talk about all the time. It's not something I'm hiding. I have to hold on on my acting career for 20 years. Because we had a meeting, the family said, you never told him that. You can't bring this on him. Then I have two kids to deal with. I didn't want to leave my kids. It becomes my marriage or the acting career. So when I've established my marriage, I went back and I brought back the discussion, honey, I cannot live my life without this fulfillment. When he saw how depressed it was getting to, and the way I was going, no one could hold me at this time. And I've established myself in a marriage for more than 20 years. He joined me. Did my career, did my marriage stop my career from starting about 20 or 25 years ago? Yes, it did. Am I happy in my marriage? Yes, I am. But I wish I had told him from the beginning. 
he would have the truth the truth is that he would have said yes he loves me you understand mm -hmm. and then would have dealt with it along the way along the way i would have started maybe 15 20 years ago mm -hmm. but i chose my marriage and my children over my career because i did not discuss that mm -hmm. during the marriage mm -hmm. so to me if you want to be a lawyer and a man proposed to you or a man is getting serious make sure you let him know i want to be a lawyer discuss with him don't put your career on hold because of marriage if you love him too much continue with your career and marry him but make sure it's a discussion between you and your man and make him understand i am not going to be a full-time housewife it's very important this is where communication becomes the key of your marriage because to me if i had told him from the beginning i love to act he would, he would have sat down and go back and come back to me and said, I don't want to marry you. I'm going to marry you. This is how it's going to go. But that was the case. And he won the case. Mm -hmm. and, you know, the friends, family, pastors came into it, spoke to me and said, no, my dear, you can't get married. I want to be an actress because you're watching Nigerian movies. I said, that's not the problem. My mom said, no, she already from when she was 10 she always she'd been acting in school in church i write little scripts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if you want to be if you are passionate about being a career woman mm -hmm. don't put it on hold because of a man let mm -hmm. it continue and you still marry him if he loves you so much he will stand by you that's mm -hmm. how it is Okay, so I see two different things in what you're talking about right now. So for me personally, doing your career first before marriage, like we said in the beginning, is individualistic, right? But yeah. what happens, for example, somebody wants to be a doctor. There is no finance to go to school. So by the time you finish uh, medical school, at least, you are 28, 30. And then you're talking about where there is no finance, for example, longer. And don't forget, we are African women. We are women. By the time most people finish career to talk about marriage, they are 35 and 40. And then by the time they're choosing, okay, I want to get married now, they pick anyhow person. So for me, I think it's about communication. Communication has to go first. Because if you want to do a movie career and you did not disclose that to your partner and you guys get married, it's a communication get wrong there. Because if you, exactly. have, said it, yeah, if, if you have opened up in the beginning, regardless of who's coming and who's telling him and say, oh, Vivian is going into acting. Why do you let her? Because we're African. We don't have to pretend like there is no side talk. People yeah. talk on the side. They come to, to, to talk to men who are very gullible about their partners. Oh, did you see? Why do you let your wife do that? Oh, she's an African woman. But once the communication is established, and you guys, nobody can tell him, okay, my wife uh, is at the back of the magazine. It, that, those things has already been communicated from yes. day one. Katya, that's exactly what I said. Yeah, so it's the miscommunication. On on the contrary as well, like I said before, people want to be nurses, they want to, they want to be doctors, they want to be... We have to also weigh in the financial aspects of that. And is the person, by the time you finish school at 35, 40, being African women, most African men wants to marry girls in their early 20s, whether we want to believe it or not. When, whenever I say most African women, I put us at the back burner because we live in the diaspora. I put the people that live in the diaspora in the back burner because Thank you. You, we are the environment of where we live. 
here in this part of the world, when you see many uh, actresses, Hollywood actresses, most yeah. of them are starting to have children at 45. Exactly. So, um, personally, I don't think I'll advise anybody to have kids or to start having getting married at 45. If people see their love, their love, the love of their life at any age, the key thing, talk about it, go get married and move on. Let's and, say, uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Love comments here. Mm -hmm. We are beautiful. We are gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Uh, mm. So that's how I look at that. So being Africans, even though that we live here, we don't know when we do certain things because it's very inevitable. We are who we are. We are Africans. Yeah. You see your daughter at 25. Oh, my darling, we'll bring your boyfriend. Where is yeah. it going to be? I don't have daughter, but I have nieces. And I talk to them. I say, who is the right person? Who is yeah. the lucky one? When am I going to meet the person? They goes, auntie, can you let us be, please? And then once they say that, I sit back because once you push them so much, you lose them. You lose them because when they see you, the first thing that comes to their mind, oh my God, she's going oh, to be married. Be about marriage again. <laughs> and they run away. So this is one of the cultures that we have that we don't know when we, when we exhibit those things that we have. Okay. So we want people to join in. We need to uh, hear some comments. What do you think? Career force or marriage uh, force? I mean, depends on the situation you are in love. Mm -hmm. you know, on the situation. That's, that's my stand. But if I have to choose, I choose career force. And this is personal for me, not meaning that I'm regretting things. I'm choosing career force does not mean I'm not going to say yes to the marriage. I just want both of us to be on the same page you understand mm -hmm. saying that even when i'm married to you i still need to be a nurse i still need to be a teacher so you're gonna um let me because nowadays you can be married and be a lawyer be a doctor be whatever you want to be you can do online studying you can do something marriage should not stop you after having your first child i went to school when my daughter was five years five months old I did my grade 12 all over again. I did my ROPN. Then when I had my son, I think it was before I had my son, my second son, I went for my ROM. And after that, before I had my last um, child, my boy, I did my critical care. In between all this, I started going into production. So my husband stood with me. He loved me enough to stand with me through this period because mm -hmm. I did not relent. He saw the, the pressure. You understand? Because you want to be whoever you want to be, but you are cooking and eating and being the best wife at home. He's not seeing you wanting to do this. So it's not going to help you. But if you say you're going to do it and you actually you are doing it, he's going to join you because you already discussed this with him. Mm -hmm. To me, education was a factor in my life. Mm -hmm. My father told me, don't joke with that. It doesn't matter how rich you are. Don't be foolish enough not to have your degree. Oh, no. Everybody has to go to. There's nothing wrong with that. But so I came with that. I came with opportunity. That. I came with that. And that passion of education, my husband stayed with me. But I miscommunicated or I hid it or unknowingly I was not thinking about it anymore. I never discussed that with him. So having a career should not stop you from marrying the man you love. If he wants to work with you to make that a fulfillment. If at the beginning your passion for that career is so much and you lie to him and agree to let it go, my sister, after many years, the marriage will be so boring because you are not happy. If you are not happy, you cannot make anybody happy. There is no medication for happiness. It's you that have to make yourself happy. If you are fulfilled, whatever you are doing, some women, they don't like any career. They want to be a full housewife. Mm. 
The men will even beg them to go and look for a job or to work. They want to open. So I say, no, I want to be a full housewife. I have seen women that love to be a full housewife. We are not talking to you. No, no. I think... Uh, let me, we are let talking me to the ones let me that want to have a career. And <laughs> we I, want to say, yeah. I want to break in here. Women that are full house... house uh, what do you say? Full-time mothers or whatever. I think there is no. Oh, character. what is not fair? Somebody said, I well, said, with much respect, you guys are gorgeous. It isn't fair, Law. <laughs> okay, anyway. All right. So I think Best that stay, stay at home moms are the most difficult job you can ever think of over there. Italian, most Italian women are stay at home moms. Most women in Nigeria, back till maybe 10 years ago, stay stay at home moms so i see people housewife women or people who stay yeah. at home many of them sorry um, can i come in uh tisa vonton okay sorry if i'm pronouncing your name very well you say wow what a topic so what is your take on it okay so what is your take on it okay okay go on Go on, Katya. Sorry. Yeah, I... yeah. So I'm saying that uh, full time moms or stay away moms are the first career. They are the first career. I've never been like a stay home mom without doing something from home. But people, women who stay home, will tell you that staying at home is one of the most difficult things you can ever think of. I have a lady, three, three doors to me here. She was, uh, a, what was she? Um, insurance broker or whatever but since she started having kids she decided to stay at home to do online so me and her were talking you have to make sure the house is put together you have to make sure the kids homework is done you have to make sure that your husband lunch whatever box is packed the grocery the cleaning of the house so i doff my heart for so guys um i don't know what happened to the volume of this this is instagram live after 20 minutes i lost the volume but if you go all the way to my instagram or to vivian you can still watch this this video to the fullest so i am not sure just in case if you're coming over here seeing this for the first time on sundays i am on live i go live with vivian williams she's a nollywood actress but we do this uh, segment on Instagram just because YouTube has a way of holding up some things on YouTube, some topics. So I decided that I am going to carry this along on Instagram. You guys know I love talking about relationship and uh, marriages. It's one of my other thing after skincare is marriage and relationship and i love it love it love it so guys i am going to stop here remember to subscribe and share this video it's always sizzling on instagram so you can go ahead if you're not following me follow me on instagram sending your topics so we can discuss love marriage and relationships love you guys bye and thank you for tuning in Thank you.